Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve. And today I have the Browning Satori Hunter 20 gauge. So if you're looking for a detailed and in-depth review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. So if you look at Browning's marketing material, they say, have you ever looked at an over-under shotgun and thought, that's just too pretty to take a field? Well, they say they've solved that conundrum with the Satori Hunter. I don't know what that means, if it means they're just calling this a basic shotgun or not a pretty shotgun, but this is meant to be a working grade shotgun. It's intended for upland, wing shooting, waterfowl, skeet, all sorts of things. I would primarily say it's an upland wing shooting gun. You could take it waterfowl hunting, you could shoot skeet or even trap with it, but I don't really think that's where this gun shines. This is a field gun. They also say they didn't cut any corners and that this gun is made to point like your index finger. We're gonna put that to the test today. MSRP of this shotgun is $22.69, but I was able to get it at Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer for $17.99. Let's jump right into the specs. As I already mentioned, this is a 20 gauge shotgun. I have a 26 inch barrel on it. They also offer this in a 28 inch barrel. This gun comes in at six pounds, eight ounces, has a length of pull, trigger to butt end 14 and a quarter inches. The drop at comb is an inch and five eighths. The drop at heel is two and a half inches. So you have seven eighth inch drop over the course of the comb. This shotgun runs in vector choke system, comes with three chokes, improved cylinder mod and full. I've already went ahead and replaced them with my Carlson's chokes. Looks like I have a light mod and improved cylinder on this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trigger of this shotgun. Just dry fire feel. A little bit more pre-travel than I would have expected, but it broke nice. It feels fairly light. I'm gonna say just under five pounds, but let's put it on the scale and actually see what it comes in at. Here we go, first pull. I said just under five pounds. Let's see how close I am. Four pounds, 13.8 ounces. That's not too bad if you ask me. Let's do a couple of them, make sure we're coming in at the same or close to the same. Wow, four pounds, 13.8 ounces, exact same. I'm not even gonna do a third one. I know that's pretty accurate, four pounds, 13 ounces. So this gun has a sub five pound trigger, which I definitely like, it feels really nice. Moving on to ergonomics, the look, the feel, the function of this shotgun. First thing I like to do is just see how it feels in the hands. The grip is, I would say a medium grip. It's not too bulky, it's not too small. It's on the smaller side, definitely on the smaller side, but kind of that medium small. We're going with medium small on the grip. The forend, not a lot of contour to it. It's just kind of a straight forend. I like a little contour to get my hands into. The checkering is fairly aggressive. Um, it's nice checkering, 18 lines per inch, cut checkering. Uh, it's pretty aggressive though. We'll see how that feels once we get to shooting, if it tears up the hands a little bit. Balance wise, it feels a little front end heavy to me right off the bat, which isn't a surprise. You know, you have the receiver here, you have a lot of weight up here, wood stock, a little front end heavy, but that's not always a bad thing. That can help create a smooth swing, having a little bit more on the front end. If I were to carry this gun all day in the field, you know, real easy to throw over the shoulder. So not that that little bit of extra weight is gonna matter. As far as controls, it's an over under shotgun. There's not a lot to the controls, the top lever, works really smooth, it breaks nice, it's nice and tight. The safety, however, is one that I love. Browning does a great job with their safeties. It's a very simple design, nothing elegant about it. It's just so easy. And as you're mounting, this is one thing that gets me on guns that I can't mount and put it on fire as I mount. I wanna be able to swing up, so easy, right? Selector. Just move it over, nice and easy. Whether we wanna shoot the under barrel first or the over barrel first, nice big trigger guard. It's a very basic looking shotgun. There's really no engraving. It has Hunter on the side in gold, gold trigger. I mean, it's nice, it's got nice wood. I think it's got grade two slash three wood, walnut stock, a little bit of character to it, but overall, pretty basic. It has one bead on the front, no mid bead, which is pretty typical on a field gun. It has a raised rib, so it's slightly above the line of the receiver. 
which I actually enjoy. Sometimes those flat ribs, I feel like the top lever actually gets in my field of view. So I like a gun that's set up with a little higher rib so I can get my eye over that top lever with no distractions. It has an inflex recoil pad to help reduce recoil. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute when we do the recoil test, see how this gun shoots. As far as quality of build, I mean, Browning makes very solid guns, very smooth operating. We're gonna break it apart in a minute, just look inside. Everything works as you would expect it. Nickel plated receiver, not a lot to talk about quality of build. Solid gun, nothing fancy, as I've already mentioned. Let's do some shooting though. Let's see how this gun recoils. We're gonna look at reliability as well. Now with reliability, I'm not gonna be able to tell you a whole lot, right? Does it eject when I open it up? How do the auto ejectors work, right? But I'm not shooting thousands of rounds through this gun. I might shoot a couple hundred, you know, so I get a good feel for it. But I love to hear from the viewers. If you have this shotgun, let us know what your field experience has been. How has this gun operated for you? What do you love about it? What are some things maybe you don't like about it? You can put those down in the comments. That's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and take a few test shots. Just see how this gun feels. Feels pretty nice, pretty easy on the recoil. Felt like it came back into my shoulder. For the most part, didn't feel really anything jumping into my head. I like that trigger, it's a nice feeling trigger. I'm gonna shoot a little faster now. Hmm. Pretty good feeling, I got no complaints. Recoil's very minimal. We'll do two more shots. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's a great feeling shotgun, feels good in the hands, shoots well, obviously has no issues ejecting the shells. Let's break this gun down real quick. Like most over-unders, comes apart the same way. Pull the lever, slip the forend off. That's heavy right there. That might be some of the weight. That's kind of a beefy forend. Then we just take the top lever, break it open. That comes off really smooth. You can look inside here, get a look at the receiver. Pretty solid construction. It hinges in one point and then to put it back together you got to push the top lever over and it locks in it actually locks in down below on the receiver very simple very simple design but i'm not ready to give my final thoughts just yet i need to do some speed shooting put this gun to the test see how fast i can shoot it not because i really want to know how fast this shotgun is but i want to be on the clock so i'm rushed so I'll feel how natural it points. Remember, Browning said it points like your index finger, which means like supernatural because everyone can point their index finger at what they're looking at. We're gonna see if this shotgun does it. On the clock, we're gonna look at the mount, recoil, all the things come together, the trigger, and see how much I like this Browning Satori Hunter. Let's shoot. Now, if you've been watching the reviews, you maybe have noticed something was different about this review. I didn't have my Reed shirt on. I knew it just felt off from the get-go, but now I got the Reed shirt on. I'm ready to do some speed shooting. Let's get into it. Two clays on the clock. How fast? Not a bad first start right there. I'm gonna say that was a one, three, two. Oh, a little faster than I thought, a one, two, nine. Not terrible, good first start. Took me 1.03 seconds to get on it though. We gotta clean that up, guys. That was fast. That was fast. That's gotta be under a 1.10. I was deceived. It's a 113. How long did it take me to get on that first clay? 0.89 seconds, so I sped it up a little bit. 113, I can get faster, guys. One more. That had to beat that 113. Let's go. One, 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 three ones. That felt pretty good to shoot, guys. It was very natural to get this up and shoot it at those clays. I'm gonna shoot a little bit more trap and just give this a little bit more time behind the gun on how it points. I have taken this gun out and hunted with it. I've enjoyed it there. Let's just shoot a few more out of the trap so I can see if it points as natural as a finger. Here we go. Pull. Pull. It does come up really smooth. That feels, feels nice. I'm not gonna lie. Let's try it this way. Pull. Ooh, missed that one though. Pull. Not much left of that clay. Last shot. Pull. Winged it. I don't know, overall, 
Final feedback on this gun, it does point really well. Really enjoyed shooting it, minimal recoil. A lot of things to like about this gun. You know, actually this checkering, it's a little aggressive in my opinion. It's tearing up my hands and I haven't shot all that much. So pretty aggressive on the checkering. As far as looks, pretty basic as I've mentioned, not a lot going on, but if you want a gun that's gonna be great in the field, nice shooting, points well, this is a great option. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys. Remember, links are down below for any of the products that I use on a regular basis, whether it's my eyes, ears, cleaning products, you can check those out below. And as always, whether in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that your laser focused on. So live, target focus. See ya.